Hi, my name's Onion Boss. Uh, today, I'm posting this video as a means to troubleshoot and hopefully get some answers in regards to the issues of which I'm having uh, when trying to get Bloodborne to run on Shad PS4. I've spent the past five days trying to fix this issue that I'm having, and I've yet to find a solution on account of the fact that, apparently, only a handful of people on the internet that I've seen have this issue, so essentially this is my last resort. Um, I'm hoping that through making this video, not only will I attain the answers I'm hoping for to fix this issue, but I can also help anyone else that's having a similar issue by bringing attention to it, since when I tried looking up how to fix the problem, the descriptions of the problems they were having were vague, and there's been no footage that I could find that's comparable to what's been going wrong on my end. But let's not waste any time and dive right in. So, when I get to the... Okay, so I open the game, it's on the title screen, right? And I select new game, and it's just gonna play the opening cutscene completely okay. like normal. Well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. I'm gonna skip this because it's just playing normally. And when I get to the character select screen, it never shows the character. Now I figured that this was normal because you know, character customization in this game is kind of shitty, or not in this game, uh, on this emulator is shitty. It's like you need the vertex explosion fix to like make it so that you don't customize your character, otherwise the game will crash, or like the graphics will get all fucked up. Uh, I figured that was going to be the fix for this, so I, I shrugged it off and I just finished making my character. But then after I finished making my character, here's what happens. The whole screen just becomes black for this next cutscene. Signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Now, me not playing Bloodborne in years, Whatever happens, I thought this was normal you because you could see the, the sub subtitles. So I skipped the cutscene to see if the game was fine to play, but no, it's this is all just a fucking black screen. What's weird is that it's all black screen, but I can move around, break shit. Right. Attack. You know, I can do all, all this shit, but it's all just a black screen, I can't see shit. And this is the problem that I've been having for the past five days. Everything after the first cutscene in the game is just a black screen. When this happened for the first time, you know, I figured I'll just install the Vertex Explosion fix and that'll fix it, but it didn't. Uh, someone suggested I delete the draw param files, and I tried that, nothing. Tried downloading the Intel special effects fix, nothing. Lower the resolution, heighten the resolution, switch between 30 frames, 60 frames, using the new 6.1 nightly build of Shad PS4, using a different build of Shad PS4, the Diego, whatever it's called, uh, build, that's specifically designed to make Bloodborne run better. It didn't work. Disabled certain processes on my PC, didn't work. Disabled certain graphics in the emulator, didn't work. I even tried downloading and installing a different fucking Bloodborne PKG file, and none of this worked. And earlier, t earlier yesterday, I tried running the game through a mod manager that I downloaded off Nexus, and also the Vortex mod manager. Nothing. Also Steam. Nothing. Um, everything else should be fine, I'm assuming. The two, P the two PKGs I installed, the game itself and the 1.09 patch, uh, bring the file size listed on the emulator to, I believe, 29.3 gigabytes. So the issue definitely shouldn't be that it didn't install correctly. My PC specs should be listed on the screen right now, too. Um, please, for, for anyone who's watching this right now, uh, please give me a, a hand with this. Th this has been driving me crazy for the past, like, week and a half. Like, I w I'm playing fucking Elden Ring right now, and I would rather be playing Bloodborne. I want to play Bloodborne so fucking bad. But uh, please let me know uh, if any of you know a fix, and I'll try it right away. And thank you for watching.